Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to be just unboxing and taking a quick look at this um, kind of like retro game console. Now this one right here is called the Q9 Handheld Games Console. I think these have quite a few different names on different websites, but this one was actually sent to me by Tom Top. So if you guys like the look of this handheld throughout the video, there will be a link to buy one in the description, and you can always go and check it out and have a look at the price and stuff like that. It is pretty affordable. This emulates tons of different things like Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Neo Geo, um, NES, all of those types of classic games. So let's go and unbox this, let's check it out and let's see if it's any good. So first of all, let's just have a look at the box. This is a 16 gigabyte model. Right there it says it's got over 30,001 games. Maybe it's 30,001, but um, I don't know the exact number. It's probably not 30,000. I do know this doesn't have any duplicates though. Okay, so there's two models. You can get the black transparent one or you can just get the white transparent one. That is what it comes with. So we've got the console the AV cable, USB cable and user manual. Um, here is a look at the back. So they are all of the buttons on there. It does have an SD card slot so we will be checking it out to see if it works. And um, yeah, basically kind of like the Game Boy Micro I think they've kind of gone for. And then there's also some other information here. So it's got a 64-bit operating system. I don't know if that's really true. but Yeah, okay, so it supports Game Boy Advance. SFC, SNES, um, Sega games, um, plus um, NES games. Okay, so yeah, plenty of different retro games on here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much everything on there. It also has pictures and ebook, but I don't think anyone uses it for those. So let's just go and have a look at this right now. As I said, kind of like the Game Boy Micro, I think that's kind of the design they've gone for. Let's see what else is in the box before I actually have a look at this um, itself. So there is a few things in here, it just looks like the instruction manual. Um, this is the USB cable to charge it with. It's a mini USB cable, so just like the PlayStation 3 controller chargers. And we have an AV cable, so you can plug it into your TV. I'll probably test this out and see if it works. And then we've got also got the instruction manual, the user manual. Um, just has some screenshots of everything in here. I mean, I've actually used this operating system before. If you guys remember the Soldier Boy, um, oh, what was it called? The Soldier Boy Mini or something? Um, it's pretty much the same operating system that was on that. Or it wasn't actually called the Soldier Boy Mini originally, that's just what he called it. And then here is the console itself. So, oh, it's actually got quite a nice joystick on there. It's got kind of like a PSP or 3DS joystick. It's got a D-pad, start select, we've got the Y, X, B and A buttons. There is actually a screen protector on here right now. I believe we can actually take that off. So yeah, the screen protector just peels away at the corner like that. And you can actually just take it off. And there you go, the screen on this actually looks quite nice to be fair. Obviously we will test it out and see what it's actually like. So at the bottom here we've got the SD port, the headphone port, the reset button. Um, there's like a kind of like a bit here where you can put a strap on. There is the power button, left and right. Um, brightness, AV, there is the charging port as well. On the side we have volume and on the back it has the 3.7 volt um, 1800 mAh lithium battery. Um, also inside this does have an SD card inside of it. Maybe I can take this apart and try and like get it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But yeah, this does have an SD card inside of it, which has the operating system and all of the ROMs. So let's just go and power it on by pressing the power button. We've got a green light to display it turning on. And is that, I guess that's the boot screen. There must be some kind of way to edit that as well. Okay, so here is the operating system. So we have got games. Um, or oh, it has like a sound effect. Oh, it's got songs on here. Don't Wanna Know and Starboy. What are these? I've heard that on the radio before. Not my time music at all, but... And then Starboy. What is this? Oh, that song. I know that song. They're really bad, but <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't want to play those because I'm going to get some copyright strike. Um, we've also got... What was this? Pictures. Okay, these are going to be interesting. Got a nice um, BMW on there. <laughs> so there are all the pictures it comes with. Bit weird, but there you go. Um, we've got a ebook, so you can read like text files and stuff like that. 
um, file browser. Oh, so this is just everything on the device. So we can actually browse through the games on here. You can probably change games and music and stuff over on your computer. And we've got settings. So language, background, sound, backlight. Um, oh, backlight time, backlight settings, restore device, system information. So there you go, 16 gigabyte and 580 megabytes left to use. Um, we've got TV out mode. That's where you put it on when you plug it into your TV. So obviously select which one. Mine's PAL, so I'd select that. Also, if you do click on PAL or um, the other one, which was at NTSC, and it goes black, all you have to do is just hold the power button and then power it back on, and it will be back to the main menu. So, okay, so these are all of the settings. Um, we can probably have a look at the background settings. Are these just like pictures and stuff? Okay, so we can actually change it. So let's have a look. What have they got on here? Maybe we can change it to the green one and see what it's like. So there you go. And font color, you can change that as well. Okay, I see how it works. So you can change the font color to whatever you want. Just like that. So I've made it kind of like a light blue, I guess. It's actually not really showing up the green that well on my camera. Oh, there you go. Now it's looking right. So what else have we got? And then that is it. That is back to the main menu. That is everything. We've just got two pages of sections. Normally, they have ROMs listed up at the top. On here, obviously, they don't. So that's kind of interesting. But I guess it's kind of like a clean operating system. doesn't look too bad. It just looks kind of basic. So um, what we can do now is try and play a game. Let's have a look. So we've got Capcom Play System, Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, um, SFC. What is that? Oh, it's like um, oh Super Famicom. Okay. And then we've got Mega Drive. Um, we've got FC just for Famicom. Um, Game Boy Color. Sega Master System. Um, GG. I don't know what GG is. Let me know in the comments what GG is. It's probably, um, I don't know, Game Boy? Oh, Game Gear, of course. GG stands for Game Gear. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the games. Maybe we can try Game Boy Advance first. Let's have a look. How many Game Boy Advance games is that actually on this thing? So it looks like it's got just the default amount on here. We can actually scroll all the way down. It looks like it's got all the Pokemons, Crash Bandicoot. Um, all of these types of games. It's got tons and tons of games on here. And of course you can add your own ROMs as well. Um, so I'm actually going to turn the volume down because that's kind of annoying. There you go. So that's the volume down. And um, yeah, it looks like we've got tons and tons of games on here. Shall we play one? Shall we just choose some random game? Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's play that. Never even played this Game Boy game before. Or Game Boy Advance game. I'll turn up the volume a bit. I don't think this will be copyrighted, so I should be okay. So first of all, the screen is very good quality. It's much better um, than my Game Boy Advance SP screen. As you can see, there's no blur. I can kind of like tilt it, and you can still kind of see it a bit. And yeah, it's very good quality. This isn't going to hurt your eyes or anything like that. There's also a brightness thing at the top. So what does this do? I'm pretty sure that's brightness, isn't it? Do I hold it? Or does it not do anything? That's kind of strange, actually. Let's have a look at the box. I thought that was brightness. Actually, it's not even labelled on the box, so... Maybe it's just a button that doesn't do anything. That's very interesting. Okay, so we've got parts of the Caribbean on here. I mean, you can change the brightness in settings anyway, so it's not really the end of the world. And, um, yeah, let's, let's take a look at this game. We can actually use the kind of, like, um, joystick as well to play with, so that's very good. So let's take a look. Sometimes on these things, the frame rate isn't really that amazing. So um, straight away, I'm kind of noticing the frame rate being a tiny bit low, I guess. So I don't know if the sound is a bit delayed there as well. Let's have a look. And um, when I killed that guy, maybe not. It's definitely playing okay, not amazing, but um, it's definitely playable, I'd say that. So I think maybe the sound is actually delayed a bit. If you guys notice when I attack these enemies, maybe there's like a split second, not even a second. Yeah, it's even a bit delayed on the barrel. That is kind of strange. But anyway, let's check out some other um, games on here as well. Um, maybe like Capcom Play System or something. So if you want to back out of the game you're playing, all you have to do is just press the power button and it's going to bring you to this menu. We can scroll down and we can actually just press X on quit. So let's go back, let's open up games, we've got Capcom Play System, let's play um, Street Fighter, that is one of the best Capcom Play System games to be fair, so let's load up this one and let's see how it performs. So we've got Street Fighter 2 on here, let's um, try a quick game of this and let's see if it's laggy or playable or anything.
So I have to admit, playing playing with the joystick is actually very nice. I'd much rather play with the joystick than use the D-pad. It's just a lot easier to use, and it actually feels pretty good. It's really like the PSP joystick, actually, um, just without like those, um, I guess, like plastic studs on. So it's, it just feels nicer on your finger. So there you go, Street Fighter, no problems with that whatsoever, no lag, and the audio was very good. And um, I'm actually very impressed with this thing. This is a lot better than the um, kind of like Game Boy style version of this. This is more like the Game Boy Advance version. The Game Boy Color version of this is definitely not as good. So let's just back out to the main menu again. Let's see what other games have we actually got on here. So let's see, so we've got Neo Geo. I want to play something like Super Famicom. Or for us, that's just um, NES. So that is SFC. There it is. I think let's play um, Super Mario Kart. Should we load up that? So I'm noticing, what is this black bar at the bottom of the screen? I think maybe the screen layout um, isn't quite right for this, so it's shrunk down or something. But as you guys can see, there's a black strip going across there. I don't know um, why that is there, actually. It's kind of strange. Okay, so let's start. So straight away, I'm noticing a huge frame rate drop. This is very laggy and hard to play. Um, I'd say this is definitely best for Capcom Play system, which I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is actually kind of like hurting my eyes playing like this. The frame rate is very, very low. I think, yeah, this is just, this is pretty nasty to play, actually. So we're just going to X out of this straight away before I get a headache. And what I'm going to do is actually put in my micro SD card. I've got a Game Boy Advance game on that, so we can see if it loads up. So here it is, I've had it connected to my computer, and all I did was just drag and drop a Game Boy Advance game. We should just be able to put this inside of here and just load it up. Let's give it a try. I don't actually know which way around this goes. I guess this way around. There you go, so it just connects like that. Um, to play off the SD card, I think we need to go into File Manager, is it? Previous Directory, there you go, SD card. There you go, Yu-Gi-Oh! Open. It should automatically open it with the Game Boy Advance emulator. So, does it? Yep, there you go, Licensed by Nintendo. And it works, so that is very impressive. It can run games off the SD card completely fine. So let's also test the um, AV cable. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got it plugged in right now. And anyway, we need to go over to settings on the device. We need to scroll all the way down, and we're looking for the TV out mode. I'm going to change it to PAL, and it should go on my TV. If that doesn't work, um, I've just got to like change it to the other setting. But let me just change it on my TV. Let me just change this to video, and it should actually display. So there you go, it's now displaying. It kind of looks a bit stretched, but you just use the console as the controller. Let's try it out, let's try out some random ROM. Uh, let's try Game Boy Advance, let's just see. Actually, we haven't tried Game Boy Color yet, to be fair. Let's try Game Boy Color. Let's just see what it loads up like. Uh, I don't know, Pokemon Yellow. Let's see what that loads up like. So there you go, not too bad at all. Um, the colors look all right, I guess. Maybe it's a bit laggy and a bit kind of like glitchy. Some of the pixels are a bit glitchy, but it looks okay. So yeah, that is pretty... And then, of course, you can just play the game. So, yeah, that is the um, AV mode. Not amazing, but um, it's okay. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. This is the retro game handheld. I mean, these things have different names on loads of different websites. I'm actually very impressed with this one. The screen is very nice. If you want to play Capcom Play System games, this is very, very good for it. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out Tom Top if you wish to get one of these. There will be a link to one in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.